In this episode, we'll revisit the legacy of William Zeckendorf Sr., the developer who assembled the land that became the United Nations headquarters. At one point, he owned the Chrysler Building and his company developed the Kipps Bay Plaza Condominium Tower. Zeckendorf came to New York at age three from Paris, Illinois. Eager to get into the business world, he dropped out of New York University and found his first job in the 1920s at the real estate company of his uncle, Sam Borchard. After clinching a few small deals independently during the Great Depression, he was quickly enlisted by Webb and Knapp, a small New York building manager and brokerage that he later purchased as his own. Zeckendorf took advantage of his position while the partners were away during the war and assembled eight acres between 42nd and 49th streets on the east side, formerly home to smelly slaughterhouses. He ultimately sold the cleared land to the United Nations, turning a huge profit of about $2.5 million. He moved on to develop part of an old airfield at Roosevelt Field on Long Island into what he claimed was the nation's biggest shopping center at roughly 2 million square feet. It held that accolade until 1959 when the Ala Moana Center in Honolulu, Hawaii was constructed. In 1953, Zeckendorf bought the Chrysler Building as well as the Graybar Building from the Chrysler family. The combined deal amounted to $52 million. He also developed Kipps Bay Plaza, a 1,160-unit apartment complex on Manhattan's east side. The complex occupies three blocks between East 30th and 33rd Streets and 1st and 2nd Avenues. Per his architect I.M. Pei's advice, Zeckendorf built the plaza with reinforced concrete, a bold and expensive move that no other developer would make at the time. Another of Zeckendorf's lesser-known schemes was the Wall Street Maneuver. In the 1950s, he managed to keep banks in the financial district when it seemed that a large-scale exodus to Midtown was imminent. Zeckendorf worked with David Rockefeller to move Chase Manhattan Bank to One Chase Plaza, a landmark deal at the time. Ultimately, Webb and Knapp collapsed in dramatic bankruptcy in the mid-1960s for unsuccessfully attempting to build a General Motors plant. Arthur Zeckendorf said in an interview with The Real Deal in 2007 that his grandfather was more motivated to build and create great things than he was to make money. So, in pursuit of greatness, he left profits behind. 